it's a sign of the times. Furniture, carpets, appliances, clothing, a lifetime of priceless family treasures all lined up. They're out on the street, soaked by floodwaters. Elza Malikinen's home in Queens was inundated with three feet of water. These are all my Christmas 38 years collection. Also my beautiful books that I've been collecting for 38 years and just a lot of memories that are gone and all the pictures, all my shoes. It's just very sad and very emotional. Inside, the cleanup has begun, but a lot of the furniture will have to go. Inside TV, Edition producer everything. Chris Dukas and his family are also cleaning up their flooded basement. What are you stepping in? I'm stepping in gook, water. This is uh, a diary. I kept diaries from the day my children were born. Uh, 28 years of diaries. It's an utter disaster. So how do you go about fixing a mess like this? First, you need the right tools, masks, a shop vac, fans, and dehumidifiers. Phil Caraciolo of the cleanup company ServPro is working on a flooded basement in Brooklyn. He shared some of his know-how with Inside Edition. Throw out wet cardboard, carpets, and furniture. The flood water is, is dirty water. Um, you have different toxins, pathogens that come in with it. You want to throw out anything that it touched. So furniture, clothing, fabric items, paperwork, you know, anything that really that it got in contact with it. Dry out rooms with fans and dehumidifiers. Typically Replace drywall two, two feet, feet above, above the water. flood line. The big dangers of water damage or flooding in your home is mold. Getting all the water out and removing the wet material that's going to help prevent anything like that. Restoration may take weeks, but time will never heal precious memories of what was lost forever.